hello friends welcome back to automation testing saturday.com so this is the fourth part of cucumber bdd framework series and as part of this lnm cucumber bdd framework with java today we are going to talk about data driven testing like how we can parameterize our test in cucumber uh, we are going to see today so if you don't know about uh, data driven testing like how we can parameterize our test then please refer the previous videos uh, which i have created as part of selenium series so if you go to my uh, channel that is automation testing insider.com automation testing insider just navigate to this playlist and here i have created a separate playlist on uh, data driven testing excel and data driven framework so you can understand like what is what do you mean by data driven framework what is data driven testing and parameterization so I'll provide the link in the description box guys you can refer the uh, description box of this video and uh, we are coming back to uh, today's agenda so today we are going to talk about this data driven testing in cucumber so this is the agenda for today so basically we can parameterize our test in four ways in cucumber so parameterization uh, parameterization using without using example keyword so this is the first way we can do that and there are certain regular ex expression we have to use so probably regarding the regular expression i will create the separate video and we can understand about this like regular expression so this is how you need to follow and the second way is data driven testing in cucumber using scenario outline using examples keyword okay and uh, yeah uh, these two things which we are going to cover today parameterization without example keyword and uh, uh, parameterization uh, or data driven testing in cucumber using scenario outline and regarding uh, this is the third uh, way we can do that parameterization using data table and this is the fourth part data driven testing cucumber using external files so you can read the data from excel file external excel file or json file or xml files so this is the fourth way to do uh, parameterization so regarding these two points uh, parameterization using data table and uh, external files how we can do using external files we'll uh, uh, look later on so basically today we'll concentrate on uh, concentrate on the uh, first two topics first two points so let's get it started so what is uh, what is cucumber data driven testing so if i explain in simple terms cucumber data driven testing means that you can pass data from cucumber feature files to your test cases for example let us consider that you are automating the login flow of some application as you have seen in previous videos uh, we have we have automated the login functionality where we need to enter username and password so we can parameterize those uh, we can automate we can parameterize those uh, username and password by passing the parameters username and password okay from feature file so in this case you can pass username and password as test data from your feature file to selenium code so this is what we can do today uh, data driven testing okay so let's uh, look the uh, project which we have created so this is the project which we have created guys cucumber project and uh, if i navigate to src test java and this is our runner uh, class and in the last video we talked about different cucumber options like we have seen features glue monochrome plugin dry run and streak so these are the different options which we discussed in the last video and previous videos we have created a simple script to login functionality so this is our step definition file uh, login steps class where we have simply written the selenium script and this is the uh, script to enter the username and password so here you can see we have hard coded the values we have providing the username and password and this is our feature file inside src test resources uh, we have features uh, folder there we have created uh, this login feature uh, feature file and this is the feature test the login second test the login functionality of orange hrm application and this is our scenario test the valid login by entering the username and password so these are the different uh, steps which we have written and simply we have just for an example we have created another scenario in the same feature uh, feature file i wanted to showcase uh, we can write multiple scenarios in simple files so that's the reason i have created uh, this scenario as well so we can remove this because this is the same steps which we have written above 
so for now I am going to remove this and already I have uh, checked this code in my github so you can refer uh, I'll provide the link in the URL this github uh, URL now we have one scenario and uh, let's automate uh, let's uh, parameterize using the first method that is parameterization without example keyword so how we can do that so let me go to login steps now what we are going to do here is uh, if you see we have to use certain uh, regular expression over here but before that uh, yeah here you can see we have hard coded the values right and what I am going to do here is instead of uh, putting the username over here I mean writing this step what we are going to do is we are going to pass the data from feature file so simply I'll pass the data from here so we have to use double uh, quotes and in that we have to pass admin and what is our password admin123 so this is our username and this is password now how our uh, script will understand this right so for that we have to use the regular expression and here uh, I have explained like there are two ways we can use these uh, regular expression to understand our script what we have written in feature file to understand our scenario so I'll provide uh, these regular expression and the complete steps in uh, uh, ex description box of this video guys so let's use these the first one you can use the second one as well anything is fine I am going to use till here so login steps once again I'll simply I'll copy from here yeah I'll copy the entire thing and I'll put it over here like this user enters make sure the spelling is correct user enters and you should have user enters over here admin and instead of this admin and admin123 what we are going to use a regular expression like this I think this is done yeah it's correct and uh, so we need to pass couple of parameters admin and admin123 so for that we need in this method we need couple of parameters right so I'll use a string username and string password like this we can use and instead of uh, hard coding uh, hard coded values like admin simply will pass this variable over here you name the parameter and password like that uh, like this we can do right guys so we are done uh, whatever changes required in our selenium script we have done we have changed the uh, we have used the regular expression to understand our scenario our feature file and uh, we have passed couple of parameters because we are passing couple of parameters from here okay so let me run this so this is our run class so we can simply run using right click and uh, run as the unit test so, so let's have a look whether it is working or not browser is launched it will navigate to orange HRM application and hopefully it will yeah now you can see it enters username and password click on sign in button now sign out uh, I mean close the browser here you can see uh, one scenario one passed four steps four passed and this is the time taken if you go to this J unit here you can see successfully uh, the test cases is passed and if you see the reports so right click and uh, refresh your uh, project reports we have seen the reports in the last video which I have created so let's have a look these uh, estimate report So here you can see guys uh, user enters admin and admin123 so uh, test the login functionality of orange HRM so this was our this was our uh, feature now the second thing is data driven testing in cucumber using scenario outline so how we can do using scenario outline so 
so whenever you create a new feature file so automatically it will it it will tell you that uh, how to use uh, it will basically it, it uh, uh, some format is already there so let me show you test dot feature test dot feature predefined format is there when we create the new feature file so here you can see so in feature file you can comment using hash and author keywords and all and here you can see uh, this is simple scenario and this is using scenario outline so to use to parameterize the test using the second uh, second part you need to use scenario outline instead of scenario this is the, uh, the given uh, scenario outline and we need to use examples keyword to pass our data and you can differentiate the first part we can only pass uh, whatever parameters we are going to pass like uh, one set of test data we can pass using the first method now in second example uh, second example we can pass multiple test uh, sets of test data so how, how we are going to do that right so what we are going to do so here you can see instead of this admin i would write first of all we need to change scenario to scenario outline like this uh, this o should be uh, in caps okay and in here user enters user name so this is one parameter and the second parameter would be password and now using examples keyword we have to pass certain parameters certain uh, test data right and we have to use the pipeline symbol like this here you can see pipeline symbol name value and status now here what we are going to use uh, username and password so I'm going to pass admin and uh, admin123 so this is first set of test data and second is admin let's write admin123 or let's say admin1 only and the password is admin1234 like this and just right click and use pretty format to arrange rearrange the code okay or you can use a control shift F as well now let me delete this this one do we need uh, one second yeah that's fine so uh, this is done now we have to change the login steps as well and login step definition we have to use this uh, we have to little bit change in the uh, expression as well so you can see in the ppt i have used simply user enters uh, this dot star and dot star over here as well so no need of this double quote and uh, slash mark simply you can use like this this should work and nothing uh, no need to change over here because we are passing the couple of parameters so it will pick the parameters a username and password and it will pass in our code so this should work so let me run it whether it is working or not so runner right click and run as JUnit test browser is launched it will navigate to orange HRM application now couple of parameters we have passed so okay it is not working so let me see the reports uh, there is okay okay so we have to give sorry I forgot one thing over here we have to provide the first parameter 
as uh, uh, this one username and password okay so simply we have to give the column name I forgot to give the column name username and uh, this would be password like this control shift F now this uh, should be okay now username we have and a password so it will run two times couple of times because uh, the first time I forgot to mention the login uh, the column names username and password so let's uh, rerun it again or runner and uh, right click run as JUnit test Here you can see it logged in with admin and admin123. So successfully logged in. This is the second uh, set of test cases, uh, test case, second test uh, set of test data. So browser is launched. Admin1 and since that is uh, invalid login, so that's why uh, not able to log into the application. But since we haven't put any assertion so that's why our test case is passed here you can see two scenarios two passed 80 steps because for login functionality uh, you can see in this login we haven't used any assertion so that's the reason uh, both the test cases got passed so you can see here as well test the valid login test the valid login so couple uh, two times right and if you see the reports over here here now you can see username and password and this is the uh, the data which we have passed admin admin 1 2 3 admin 1 and admin 1 2 3 4 so this is how you can parameterize your test uh, in cucumber guys uh, so two ways we have seen today and uh, parameterization using data table we'll see in the next video and let me check in the code into github so you can uh, refer the code so right click and team commit data driven testing commit and push it will ask for the credentials Yeah, it is done. Now let me see the second data driven testing. Here, here you can see the second commit data driven testing. So you can refer the code. And so that's it for today, guys. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about uh, data table. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe it. And still, if you have any doubts, then please comment. Uh, your uh, doubts in the comment section of this video thank you thank you so much for watching have a nice, have a nice day bye bye